Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to hit on this beautiful Saturday is the breaking news from last night. FPC took ATF to the woodshed again, this time over their ghost gun regulation, just like you and I talked about two years ago when Biden first put out the executive actions in April around ghost guns and personally made firearms and the scourge that they represent. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think on this one. And please send this out because it shows you have the ability to win. There is a hole in the armor, so to speak. That's what we're going to discuss. Now make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We would love to have you help us disperse freedom daily like we do two times a day on this channel, and thank you for that consideration. All right, my brothers and sisters, one of the main things that we talk about on this channel consistently since we begun talk about politics, analysis, and where we're going to move forward for the gun world, it's all about your willingness to fight and not roll over and put up resistance to unconstitutional tyranny. That's what we are seeing right here. We have a litany of examples of when you don't give up, you have amazing results. Check this out because that is what we've been focusing on on this channel, like I said, from the Biden inaugurational day. Check this out. FPC and FPCAF win. Federal judge vacates ATF's unlawful frame or receiver rule. For those of you staying at home, that's the ghost gun regulation, which was a lock, and they said it was an impossible thing to defeat. It just got vacated. Fort Worth, Texas, June 30th, 2023. Today, Firearms Policy Coalition and FPC Action Foundation announced that the federal judge has granted summary judgment for the plaintiffs in Vanderstock versus Garland. And we've covered this a lot. This is the case that started out kind of in the wishy-washy areas and consistently went away from the ATF the whole way until this final vacation. All right, not vacation, vacating of the motion, of the ruling. Vacating the ATS frame or receiver rule and preventing the federal government from enforcing it. The opinion can be viewed at fpclegal.org. It's right down there in the description box. So now you've got a lack of enforcement because it's been vacated. A federal judge, <clears throat> excuse me, a federal judge just said, hey, ATF, nah, ain't happening, boo. What does that lean towards with the uh, pistol braces? What does that lean towards with everything else that they're trying to do through the executive branch and the bureaucracies? The things that we've been hitting on like a war drum on this channel together are starting to come to fruition. They cannot do what they are attempting to do. It's unconstitutional, and their world is collapsing around them. Let's continue. Quote, This case presents the question of whether the federal government may lawfully regulate partially manufactured firearm components, re uh, related firearm uh, products, and other tools and materials in keeping with the Gun Control Act of 1968. That was the whole crux of the problem, right? It was outside of the confines of 1968. Do you remember all that talk we had around the usurping of Congress? They passed legislative, um, effectually, laws from the executive branch, which is Congress' responsibility. They cannot do this. That's what he's talking about here. Let's keep going. Wrote federal, uh, excuse me, federal District Court Judge Reed O'Connor in his order, quote, because the court concludes that the government cannot regulate those items without violating federal law, the court holds that the government's recently enacted final rule is unlawful agency action taken in excess of the ATF's statutory jurisdiction. On this basis, the court vacates the final rule. Get some, would you like another? Just saying. Let's have some more, because this is just delicious. Let's hear from the actual FPC people. Quote, We're thrilled to see the court agree that ATS frame and receiver rule exceeds the agency's congressionally limited authority, said Cody J. Wisniewski, FPCAF senior attorney for constitutional litigation and FPC's counsel in this case. Quote, with this decision, the court has properly struck down ATF's rule and ensured that it cannot enforce that which it never had the authority to publish in the first place. The ghost gun rule just fell. How long until the pistol brace rule fells? Because they both go from the exact same conceived authority from the ATF, from the Gun Control Act of 1968. The house of cards is falling. Keep up the pressure. We can win this. One more thing for you, and then we're going to have an amazing Saturday because I'm amped. Quote, this is a monumental victory against the tyrannical ATF. Firearms Policy Coalition and FPC Law have argued that this rogue agency has unlawfully attacked gun owners in this latest round of rulemaking, and we are grateful to see this court agree, said Richard Thomas, FPC's Vice President of Communications. Quote, 
We will not stop, however, with this latest victory. FPC and FPC law will continue to bring these cases to put a stop to the immoral and unconstitutional actions of this disarmament regime. Very well said. The entire unconstitutional approach that the Biden administration has been taking since their inauguration day has been smoked. Their win rate is like 5 to 10%. I haven't done the actual calculation, but it's very small. They just came off of the original Supreme Court ruling last year. They got smoked. They just came off the Supreme Court ruling this year. They got smoked. ATF just got handed a crap sandwich and an ATF ruling or a, a FPC ruling against the ATF. They got smoked. Pistol braces is coming to a town near you, and that is why we are on this channel and fighting for freedom every single day. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.